Delicious, even when cold. You might be asking yourself, self, why does Matt have the doormat on backwards? Well, it's easier to work on once in this position. I don't have as much room on the driver's side. It's easier to film for you guys, and uh, quite frankly, I just want an excuse to do it because how many cars can you really do this on? I don't know, it's kind of fun. Anyway, so the first step, going to, uh, this is a 3 8 if yours is a nut, if it's a screw, you want to use a Phillips. All right, this thing's got quite a bit of torque, it's cool. Black and Decker. Next, this guy, and I don't know why, but it's a uh, nine millimeter, I think. Yeah, nine millimeter. Uh, it was the same on the other side. It's kind of uh, snaps in at the top there. Comes out. Should be a little. Gasket, don't lose that. And these guys here. I'm gonna uh, get another kit, a full kit of these, because they're not very expensive, and these kind of look kind of shoddy. I'm not gonna reuse this uh, this aluminum or checker plate door panel. I'm gonna get something a little nicer, I think. Um, so if anybody wants it, let me know. <sighs> Knob, piece of cake. Except that it takes forever. You got some big screws here. What I do is Something my daughter calls maximum torque. And for that I get the biggest drill bit I have and the biggest breaker bar I have. And and I give it maximum torque. That one's a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Those are smaller. This one's usually a pain. This one holds the lower, uh, oh, piece of cake, man. Ooh, that one's a little stiff, she said. This one holds the uh, bumper guard for the bottom of the glass. One thing I forgot to do is hit this, uh, these bolts <clears throat> with penetrating loop so that they come out of the door support. Um, the only one I've had stick is that screw, so I'm going to have to get the uh, vice grips on that. Oh well. So now everything's loose, I'm just going to zing these off with uh, some power tools. I almost forgot, before you do this, roll the window all the way up and then take apart the um, take apart the connections to the bear claw uh, latch to hold the window otherwise you have to hold the window up out of the way to do it flashlight comes in handy in case you're wondering what I was struggling with in here um, I'm just getting these clips off and the way you do it is, it's very simple and elegant actually. You just push that clip off of the bar. The retainer, when you do that, you should be able to just slide that off. And all of them are like that. So now that you did that, you can take the bolts off the side, the bolts off the side of the door that hold the track in and then pull uh, all that out. So actually loosening these up, I broke this uh, on the other side. So I have to buy a window track. 
a backside window track. They're not that expensive. I mean, it's like 20 bucks or something, but you know, it depends on what kind of restoration you're doing, you know, and I'm not really sure, so I want to make sure I keep as many parts as I can. I, mean, I know I'm doing restoration, but I'm not really sure what it's going to be. I know it's not going to be numbers matching or anything crazy like that, but I don't know if it's going to be like super show quality or or anything. Yeah, I know it's going to be nice, but like, do you reuse, reuse a window track that's like perfectly okay? You know, my tendency is to say, dude, you're already in the door. Just spend the 20 bucks, you know, but maybe that's because right now I have the 20 bucks and if I get to the door, I won't have the 20 bucks. You know what I'm saying? So that just comes out. Like a spider web. See that? That's your whole mechanism. Goes up to the knob. This goes back to your handle and this goes up to the, uh, uh, this handle. So that's it. Ugly. I see like that I might reuse. It's not rusty. It's in pretty good shape. Maybe if I get like a media blaster, blast it out. Lower this. Okay. I think you didn't see me pull this regulator out, but it just comes right out. There's no, there shouldn't be a trick to it. And uh, then this track should also come right out. So that's the other track. Great. Right. So now that that's done, how do you get the window out? That is a bit tricky. Not tricky. Tricky is not the right word. First, pop these clips out. Have the same look. Perfect. Perfect. Those, you're going to get new ones anyway. And then here, you got to kind of oops, dig out this, uh, this weather track channel thingy. The problem is I have that uh, bumper down there. So, out of the way, maybe I can free this up now. There you go. Some guys say you can reuse this, but I think that'd be, I mean, this one's actually in pretty good shape, but you see, even now it's still rusted, so I'm not gonna reuse that. Ah. Oh yeah. All right, so that's garbage. And then I think there's one in here too. If I remember correctly, hey Naomi. If I remember correctly, I managed to turn this at a 90 degree angle. The problem is, I had the bumper out at the bottom. Uh, you can't do it without taking that bumper out. So I'm going to get uh, some uh, help here and get that bumper off. I call this the suck because this is a terrible method to loosen anything. But I bet you guys do it. I bet you do. Bye, guys. Let's try some less sucky vice grips. I bought these in Australia. I don't know. It's a stupid hobby. Really. I just gotta be half retarded to do this. This was the offending bumper. People say get a neighbor or a friend to help you with this part. That is definitely good advice, I, uh, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't have to. Because I'm just that good at this. Not really, it's just because it's kind of late and I don't wanna, I don't wanna bug my neighbor. So, the way you do this is you rotate the mirror at the window 90 degrees now I can't remember which way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a better way. There's a better way. I think I'm gonna do adjustment on the fly here. If I take this wing window off, I think the whole thing comes out a lot easier.
Next, we're gonna take the uh, the uh, thing out for the uh, the old lock thingy. Should just slide out. I don't know why that was difficult, but it just comes right out. Kind of holds it in place there. Holds it a little clip. Next step is this door handle, which is a massive pain because it's up high. A three eighths, I believe. Flashlight again. Never speak too soon. Broke the handle on this side, which I didn't want to do. I also broke it on the other side, so I gotta buy two handles now. I don't have a tip for how not to break the door handle. If somebody has a tip for how to not break the door handles, I'm sure it would be very well regarded. I'm turning my attention to this uh, to the trim here real quick since this screwdriver works for that. It's a squ is that a square head? I think it's a square head. That's so weird. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Square head, square head. Nope. Is it a hex? What is that thing? No, no, that was... No, it's a, it's a Phillips. God. Vice grips. Did it move? That felt like it moved. Stupid screw. That was no joke. Like seven and a half minutes on a screw. Maybe more. So, and you wonder why does a project take three years? Do seven and a half minutes on a screw, and this ain't your full-time job. So it's gonna take you two years. This just came out on the other side. How do you get that in without scratching the paint later? Honestly. All right, for the Ranger trim, Lieutenant. There's a couple tabs. One up here. It would be awesome if it just pulled straight up, but no such luck. Tab there. And just two tabs. Two tabs. All right, these snap off, but they're, you feel like you're gonna screw them up. I don't know what the trick is to this. You just kinda gotta get it started. And then it kinda, just gently kinda move it up the trim. And it'll end up with a boat. It'll end up with a boat on it. There's no way to avoid that. I don't think. If one of you guys have a better way, let me know. But you just keep moving up. And once you get it started, you can kind of take it off my hand. See that? And it's got a bow. And then you just kind of got to straighten it back out. Okay. Maybe on your belly. I'm not going to do it right now because I want to take my time and get it nice and straight. But that's how it comes off and this is the original factory paint, lighter brown. Once you have the two bolts on either uh, side of the door off, you should be able to just work down your Ranger trim here if you have it. And pop it off the clip. Oh, I'm sorry. You're supposed to dis disregard that. Don't do that. Do not follow my instructions. Turn the bolts inside. There you go. I would say easy, but that was not easy. Okay. A word on Ranger trim. Um, these are all aluminum. All the trim, all the trim pieces, even though they're referred to as chrome, it's all aluminum. So keep them. I'm gonna try to polish them up and see how they look. If you try to replace them, it's pretty expensive. So 
I'm marking each one with where it came from and you know what the orientation was so that I don't struggle with it later. And I'm going to see if I can get some high quality polish and, and bring them back to life. That's a, that's a piece you might want to keep. I'm going to take off this fugly side view mirror here. So free mirror to my 10,000 subscriber. Just kidding, I only have like 350. But man, I'm, I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. Oof. Man, look at the holes that thing left. Jiminy Christmas. So now that I have that out, I'm just gonna take these out and then I pretty much, this thing's ready for um, sandblasting, which was the whole point of this was to get the door stripped down so I could get it to media blasting. I'm just gonna take these tabs off and I'm done. Boom, door done, windows are done, fenders are done, hood, radiator, front nose, all of it, ready to get disassembled. Uh, next week, I think I'm gonna do the top, uh, and the lift gate, maybe the tailgate, maybe the windshield frame, maybe that's too aggressive, I don't know. Was this too detailed? I mean, I just thought the door's kind of complicated and it might help people to know how to take it apart. Let me know. If it was boring, tell me, I mean, I could take it. I'm just trying to do the best I can, you know, I'm just a Bronco man doing the best I can, and it's cold right now. I mean, it's not like Minnesota cold, but I'm a California boy, this is, this is cold. See you next time on Matt's Garage.